Today we're going to talk a little bit about SSDs, workflows, and media storage management. All right guys, welcome back. This is Jose, where we talk a little bit about video editing, video production, camera tech stuff, all that fun stuff just to make our lives a whole lot more easier. What is this, what did I just talk about? SSDs, all right. So I'm gonna kick it off right now and talk to you about my workflow. So when I'm editing in Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, or even DaVinci Resolve, it's all the same for me. I have a C drive that I just upgraded to, the Samsung 950 Pro. It's the NBM M2 SSD. I mean, this thing is screaming fast. I mean, like two gigs a second. I mean, these speeds are amazing. As you can see, it's like, look at that. This is the speed for my C drive. This is where my applications are stored. This is also where I use it for my scratch drive when I'm in Premiere Pro. Again, this is all just to make sure that I, when I'm working in 4K, it's just going as fast as possible. No bottlenecks. That's what I'm trying to eliminate here with my workflow. And then moving on down the line, I have two SSDs, Samsung's, the A50 Pro, and these things are rated together at a zero only because I'm just looking for speed. I love to eliminate all bottlenecks because I just want it fluid without optimizing media if I can. So with these two babies rated together, their primary use is media. With my SSDs rated and my 950 Pro, there's no bottlenecks right here. So you're talking about speed, speed, and then my CPU 10 core speed. I know it's just insane. It's like, why do I need so much speed? I just, I hate when it just stutters. And my Mac Pro used to get that little rainbow ball. It's just driving me nuts. Now when I'm ready to export, whether, I don't care if I'm in Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, or DaVinci Resolve, any of those programs I'm exporting a video is going to a separate SSD. And I have a small 256 scan disk for this one. I also have a, what is that? I have a 16 terabyte Thunderbolt drive that I offload everything to, all my archive projects, raw footage, everything I put in here. And to follow up with that, I also have an additional 16 terabyte that I use as a backup. So that way, everything that I have, it backs it up. So there you guys have it. That's my workflow for my SSDs that I just started using. I love it because there's no bottleneck. I'm talking about it's just like import, start to the project, and then in the timeline, especially with Premiere, it's just like you just start going and there's no stutters. And then when I export, boom, right into my 256 SSD. It's a perfect marriage. If you can do it, do it. If not, just start rating those same 200s and then just hope that you don't break anything. <laughs> now leave a comment if you want to share your workflow so that way I can get some tips too on how you make your videos. So again, that's just my workflow and how I do things with SSDs.